Hello everybody. In this video I'll be showing you how you can easily turn video into photo which I think is a marvelous tool for photographers so that is what I'll be showing you in this video. Before we continue please subscribe to my channel and like my page in the description. So video to photo apps basically how they work is they actually play the video and the app that we're the app that i'll be using today you can actually set the intervals on how many seconds you want it to snap a picture in effect which i think is a very good tool for people like myself who are visually impaired and also if you've forgotten to take more photos than videos and the great thing about video to photo apps is that you can actually choose what video you want to be turned into a photo and it's also good if you're taking if you've taken a video of some form of wildlife because wildlife certainly looks great right in Wildlife certainly looks great in photos. Sorry. Right then, so we're going to be using a video to photo app. There are a few video to photo icons actually labeled video to photo, so it can be a bit confusing on which one to click. So just click on the one I'm focusing on. Now one annoying thing about this app is you actually get a lot of advertisements especially when you click on the video to photo so that's something to take into account. Another annoying thing is although it's got video names on the screen you can't actually click on the video and expect it to you know do its thing. You have to click on the gallery which will present you with this screen that we have now. So I will Yeah, it will present you with the screen that we are presented with now. And I want to take. Some some pictures of some seagulls. So I'm wondering whether this would be it. So you can so once you've clicked on your desired video, you've got select types, so you can click capture capture at interval. Capture at time image. I prefer the interval personally. So we're going to click on intervals and then you can see the video play. So you've got a slider so you can zoom in on the video. 59, 60, 65, good job. Well, I think we've got some seagull content, content here. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this, fo this video into photo. Now you've got two sliders on the screen. One slider is to obviously adjust the video's duration to a desired starting point and the other video the other slide show is to adjust the capturing interval so we're going to change that from 20 got capture with 3.5 seconds I think I'm going to 
time to say is so much better. Slider, 200 duration slider flip. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hang on. Six selected duration. 26 selected. Can make one third selected. What select? So you can actually pause the video, like I have done. Capture every three. Select twenty-eight percent. Twenty-eight percent. I'm just going to rewind that. Select twenty-four. Twenty. Nineteen percent. Sorry about this. Thirty. Twelve percent. Twelve percent. Seat control. Not selected. Cure. Nine percent. I think we're just gonna have to start it from there, and then you click on save. Timing selected. Save button. Please wait. And then it will say, "Please wait." And actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this video, and then when I come back to you, we should have some photo content. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, then, folks, we're back with you now, and I'm in my file manager. And to actually view your photos, you need to click on the play files, of course, if you're using a Chromebook. And then the folder is called video to photo. List video, video fitter, video to photo. List and what the app actually does is it actually creates a folder with the label of the video that you've just converted into a photo. Um, so in this case it's H and I, so on and so forth. And here you can see the IMG. images labeled in numerical order. IMG one dot JPG list item two of ninety five. And you can see we've got a lot of photos here. So <laughs> again it's a it's a great way to bulk up your picture gallery without taking numerous photos. And also if the camera shot is sort of not central sort of thing if you're taking photos at least you've got videos as a backup so let us opening file show you i am navigating some of the photos img img six you should be able to see some photos that we've converted let's scroll through them quickly And here we have it. Well, I hope you found this little tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come, and we will see you soon.